Foundation Module 1, UHS, Modular Integrated Undergraduate Curriculum Physiology, Guyton and Hall 14, Edition, Chapter 1, Lecture 1. Dr. Ashraf Thind, Senior Demonstrator, Sheikh Zayed Medical College, Physiology Department, Founder and CEO of Dr. Sheen.com. Superfast Simplified Physiology, Video, Lecture Notes. Learning Objectives 1. Definition of Homeostasis 2. Concept of Homeostasis with Examples 3. If Disturbances of Homeostasis, Then What Happens 4. Importance of Homeostasis Definition of Homeostasis Maintenance of Nearly Constant Conditions in the Internal Environment the internal environment is the fluid that surrounds the cells. Concept of homeostasis with examples. The internal environment is the fluid that surrounds the cells. The fluid within all body cells is called intracellular fluid, ICF. The fluid outside the cells is called extracellular fluid, ECF. Note that the ECF is outside the cells, but inside the body. Thus, the ECF is the internal environment of the body. You live in the external environment. Your cells live in the body's internal environment. ECF is a made up of two components, the plasma, the fluid portion of the blood, and the interstitial fluid, which surrounds and bathes the cell. In the ECF are the ions and nutrients required by the cells to maintain life. All cells live in the same environment, the ECF. For this reason, the ECF is also called the internal environment of the body or the milieu interieur. For example, the digestive system transfers the nutrients required by all body cells from the external environment into the plasma. Likewise, the respiratory system transfer oxygen from the external environment into plasma. Similarly, wastes produced by the cells are released into the interstitial fluid, picked up by the plasma, and transported to the organs that specialized in removing these wastes from the internal environment to the external environment. If disturbances of homeostasis, then what happens? When any factor starts to move the internal environment away from optimal conditions, the body systems initiate appropriate counter, reactions to minimize the change. For example, exposure to a cold environmental temperature, an external factor, tends to reduce the body's internal temperature. In response, the temperature control center in the brain initiates compensatory measures, such as shivering, to raise body temperature to normal. By contrast, production of extra heat by working muscles. During exercise, an external factor tends to raise the body's internal temperature. Importance of homeostasis. Homeostasis is the necessary for the survival of each cell, and each cell through its specialized activities as a part of body system for the proper functioning of cells, tissues, and agrins, and it is achieved through complex feedback mechanisms that continually monitor and adjust the body's internal conditions to keep them within the desired range.